I'm joined in the studio by Barry Schreier, Chief Executive and Founder of Liberty Electric Cars, which will begin manufacturing electric Range Rovers in the autumn. Barry, thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure, thank you. I'm struggling to get my head around this. Electric Range Rovers, uh, it's a bit weedy, isn't it? They're meant to be great gutsy motors. Well, it's not weedy, but it's a good question. You see, what we're doing is we're producing the world's first high-performance, zero-emission electric car based on the Range Rover platform, and it will have outstanding acceleration. It'll actually have better acceleration than the normal Range Rover, and it will have a very high top speed. So with electric motors, you can produce excellent performance, zero-emission cars. Can you do all that while maintaining the same chassis on those cars that Electri uh, that uh, petrol cars have. Yes, that's right. We deliberately chose the Range Rover because it's a big platform and we know that obviously what consumers want uh, are green cars. Consumers don't want to trade the comfort or the safety that they have with their current cars. So what we're offering is, like I said, the comfort and the safety of a large, comfortable car like the Range Rover. But what we're doing is we're replacing the internal combustion engine with electric motors and uh, electric batteries. So it will be zero emission, no poison fumes. Now, I know you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but mm. it's my understanding that these cars will cost about £95,000, something like that, about twice the cost of an ordinary Range Rover. You will have to save a lot of petrol, will you not, <laughs> to make up that difference? Well, the list price is expensive, but what we have to recognize is that all new technology is a little bit more expensive than current technology. Like the first mobile phones were more expensive, but prices will come down. The most exciting thing is that the running costs for electric cars are considerably less than for petrol or diesel cars. As an example, say you spend about 100 pounds a week right now on petrol, you'd spend only 20 pounds a week on electricity with the Liberty Electric Range Rover to drive the same distance. So you'd save an enormous amount on fuel bills. And on top of that, there's a lot of tax benefits. So if you drive an electric Range Rover, you would pay considerably less taxes than you, buy, than you do buying a normal uh, diesel or petrol Range Rover. What will be the distribution method for these cars? Will they sit alongside ordinary petrol cars That's right. on the, uh, on the forecourt That's of, exactly uh, right. of Range, Rose, Range Rover dealers? Yes, so consumers will be able to buy them in an ordinary Land Rover dealership, yep. and they'll also be able to buy them directly from us. Our ambition is to sell the vehicles both here in the UK and also around the world, so they'll go through ordinary retail uh, channels. Once you're up and running, how many will you need to sell to break even? Well, our forecast is to sell over 1,000 vehicles a year beginning in the second year. Uh, the interesting thing is, though, we're not just doing the Range Rover exclusively. We're going to be doing additional platforms, both additional Land Rover products and also other manufacturers' vehicles. We're very excited about it, though, because, as you know, we made the announcements about uh, uh, launching our production facility in the northeast of England. So we're pleased to announce that we're putting this center of excellence for the electric car industry here in the UK. What, uh, you said a thousand cars a year, what percentage would that be of regular Range Rover sales? Uh, it's a small percentage, to say the least, but that's just the beginning. You see, this is going to take years because... Well, how many Range Rovers to... are sold a year? Uh, right now, approximately 25,000 are okay. sold a year. So you're so talking about 4%? Number. That's right. But we're anticipating that to go up substantially. And uh, the most important thing is that consumers want these vehicles. We have people from all around the world coming to us saying, when will they be ready? We want a green car. What do you make of Lord Mandelson's statement today about uh, subsidies of up to £5,000 for electric cars? It mm. seems light on details. What's he talking about? Well, we think it's an outstanding offer, to be honest, and we're very happy to see the UK government being so supportive. What people want, like I said before, consumers want green cars, and there isn't a lot of choice out there right now. So this £5,000 rebate is an outstanding offer. It's the first step, and there's a lot of things to do. I had a meeting with Peter Mandelson a couple of weeks ago to introduce Liberty Electric Cars and talk to him about our program, and he was very supportive of our initiative and also, as I mentioned before, of our plan to establish our manufacturing capability in the northeast of England. We're getting a lot of government support in general from that region, and so what we have discovered is that the government recognizes there's a necessary transition which has to be made from the current arrangement where you have polluting diesel and petrol cars to a transition to clean technology like electric cars, which are not polluting. No tailpipe, no poisonous fumes. All right, uh, Barry Schreier of the new electric Range Rover. Many thanks for coming in. We Thank appreciate you very much. it.